we shouldn't read too much meaning into this. But one way of reading it is that they, the message of the international community, the global condemnation and the absolute uh, inaccessibil uh, unacceptability of their nuclear program is finally getting through. The, the sanctions are, are working um, and, and that may be causing them to recalculate. Um, it could also mean that they are fine-tuning some technical aspects of what further provocations that, that might have uh, up their sleeves. So, uh, but it, it's, it's good that we have this period of uh, no provocation. We, North Korea, in the first instance, need to stop its provocations period. Um, and, and we hope that this period continues. Um, Otherwise, uh, we will never enter into any kind of serious discussion about uh, denuclearization. And our goal through these sanctions and pressure is to draw them out, uh, to force the point on them that they need to change course. Do you think the US and China are taking the right approach, or is there a need to bring Russia into the fray? Well, I think. All, they're all, all very important part. Certainly, China, Russia, and the U.S. are all members of the Security Council permanent members. They, they, they write these sanctions, and they have a primary responsibility to not only implement the sanctions, but to ensure that these challenges to global peace and security are, are dealt with. So on that fundamental level, uh, we, we expect China and Russia uh, to play that very important role. On the North Korean nuclear issue uh, also, I think China is, is uh, implementing very faithfully the, the sanctions. It says so, and we see the actions on the ground. Russia also says that it is faithfully implementing the sanctions. But what, Minister Kong, can North and South Korea ever unite? Well, um, there is always the future. Uh, and I think uh, after a period of uh, peacefully living together, um, there will come a time when uh, the people on both sides feel um, it's time. But what we need in the first instance is a permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, you know that we are frozen at the, at the, uh, at the armistice agreement uh, at the end of the war, uh, and that has not been replaced by a peace agreement. Um, but for us to work towards a permanent lasting peace, we need to come to terms with the, the nuclear issue.